So hi, in this video, I'll be showing how to calibrate microchips uh, power monitoring device. Specifically, I'll be using MCP 39F521. So in this demo, I'll be using the following. One is MCP 39F521 demonstration board and the power monitoring utility software. So, so first the the MCP 39F521 demonstration board is factory calibrated. So once you purchase this demo board, so it should uh, show the correct values. So there is a calibration tags that can be found at the back of the demo board. So it shows calibrated. Before the demo, I'll be briefly discuss the how the calibration works. So here is the block diagram on how to how the RMS value of the voltage and the current were derived. So the accumulated RMS voltage and current were multiplied by their corresponding gains and divided by the corresponding range. So that means the equation is equal to the equal V equals the VRMS, which is the output of the analog front end ADC, multiplied by the gain and divided by the range. Uh, please take note that the range is in the power of twos. The calibration registers are 16 bit wide. That means it can accept value from 0 up to 65,535. However, the calibration, the gain values is limit from 2xxx up to 65,535 depending on the device being used. Specifically for MCP 39F521, the limit is 20, from 25,000 to 65,535. So when you calibrate and the value falls outside the recommended range, you will receive a knock. Otherwise, you will receive an acknowledge. So the gain, <coughs> the equation on calibration on, or on how to compute the new gain would be equal to the old gain multiplied by the expected divided by the measured. The gain old is the current value in the gain register. The expected is the target value and the measured is what the power monitoring provides. So here's an example. So for example, the I range is set to 12. The gain is set to 34. 33,480. The measured current is 2,300 or that corresponds to 2.3 amperes and the expected or the target or the calibration current is equal to 1,000 or that corresponds to 1,000. So the the gain would be equal to 33,480 multiplied by expected or the 1,000 divided by 2,300. That means that equals to 14,556. And that 14,556 is less than 25,000. Uh, so, how to make the I gain new greater than 25,000? By looking at the equation above here, in order to increase the I gain new, we can either increase the expected here or decrease the measured. Since expected value is fixed, we cannot change it. Therefore, the only way to increase the I gain new is to decrease the measured value. 
So how do we decrease the measured value? So going back to the equation before, in order to increase the measured value, the, the range should be increased here since it is in the denominator. So we'll try to use I range 13. So if we use I range equal to 13, the value, the new value will now be equal to 29,112, which falls within the, uh, the range, the, the recommended range. Okay, so, so in summary, so when our meter or the measured value on our meter is less than the expected target, the expected, the target or the calibration value, and we receive a knock, what we can do is we can decrease the range. And when our meter or the measured value is greater than the expected, the target or the calibration, we can increase the range when the knock is received. Okay, so let's try to go to our power monitoring utility. So when we open the power monitoring utility, choose the exact device. So here's the uh, interface for the microchip power monitor. So when we start this, okay, it will provide the necessary information like voltage, current, frequency, and the power. So assuming that this uh, voltage and current is not calibrated, currently it shows 230 volts RMS and about 6.2 6 point, 6 point, it goes down so so it shows 6.17 ampere so assuming that this is not calibrated and the true voltage and current is at let's say 235 volts and 6.2 amperes so we need to calibrate this meter to be at 235 volts and 6.2 amperes. So I do not have network analyzers right now, so I won't be able to measure the power factor and calibrate the reactive and active power. So we simply go to the voltage calibration and the current calibration. So when you go to the gain calibration, let's input or place the calibration current let's go to decimal so to make it simpler so our calibration current would be at 6000 stop this 6200 62000 so that's is 6 point That's 6,200, that is 6.2 amperes. And for the power, oh, sorry, the voltage, it's 235.0 volts. So let's place also the uh, frequency, the line frequency. That should be 60,000. So the current RMS here, the active power, the voltage RMS, and the reactive power, those are the measured value from this meter. So when we read this one, it should show the voltage and the current. Okay, so that's the correct values. Okay, so when we try to place calibrate gains, it should compute for the gains for the voltage and the current so we should expect to have an acknowledge in this 
Okay. So, as you can see, uh, we receive uh, acknowledge for the reading temperature, auto calibration for the line frequency, and the gains. So, when we start this meter, we expected to have 235 volts and about 6.2 amperes. So, so, here, as you can see, it's almost equal to 235 and 6.2 amperes. So, let's try another example. So, for example, that currently it shows 235 volts RMS. But, for example, that the true... Uh, True input voltage is not 235 volts, it's, it is at 260 volts. So how do we calibrate it to show 260 volts rather than 235 volts? So first, let's try to measure the... Let's stop this one. And let's try to measure the gain voltage RMS. So the gain voltage RMS is 46,488 and our expected value is 2,600 volts or 260.0 volt, 206, volts and our current reading is 200 35 volts So let's compute for the gain So what should be the gain? So the gain would be the old gain 46,488 488 times 2600 divided by 2350 Okay, so we expect that the gain would be 501, so 51,433. Uh, okay, so we go to the gain calibration. And let's try to input here 2,600. And we place calibrate gains. Okay. So when we read this one, it should show 260 volts. 